Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Something a bit different today, doing a bit of beekeeping. This is uh, part of my uh, day job to get the old smoker going. I like to keep all the old gear in there. Gets it started up a lot easier. Best thing we're getting the smoker going, a bit of these shavings. Tiny bit of this old uh, rotten puke wood. So I wrap that up in the shavings. Shame it just gets that alight. Plus, uh, we've got all the old dry stuff in there. A one match wonder. Let's hope uh, the wind don't get her. And yes. I am a pyromaniac. Now the smoke has two uses. One, you smoke the bees. They think their uh, hive's on fire so they eat a load of honey. And uh, because they think the hive's on fire they eat the honey so that they can take their honey to another hive and make themselves a new hive, a new home. While they're eating all that honey, they're too full up and don't really want to sting you. They're more lethargic because they're full up from all the uh, honey. Number two, what the smoke is good for, is the smoke hides the pheromone, the stinging pheromone. I just want to get all that harsh, dry shavings, get this lot to burn off. That's not good for the bees, they don't like that, it's too harsh and if it's burning your nose, it's burning the bees nose. Almost gone, once all that's gone, there we go, that's pretty much all gone now. I like to use lavender. Really calms the bees down. Doesn't burn your nose and smells absolutely lovely. So, we're going to give the hive a smoke. Unfortunately, we've only got one hive this year. We lost three of our hives over the winter. I like to smoke around the hive and under the hive rather than in the hive. So we don't want to wind up the bees. You can see everyone there has got some lovely pollen. So we know the queen's laying. got babies because they wouldn't be bringing in the pollen unless they were unless they got their babies right. time to finish getting suited up don't really fancy all these buggers in my hair and we're going for a little inspection Almost there, just gotta get me a get me surgeon's gloves on. Now the bees do sting through these gloves, but the bees sting don't hurt that bad. It was like hell for the first few seconds. But uh, give it five minutes and the bee sting won't hurt at all. He says that still putting a suit on and gloves, but one day, one day I will be there. No suit, no gloves. 
Another little puff. Mmm, smell of vision. Absolutely beautiful smell, this uh, lavender. Here's my little mini crowbar for cracking the way in. What I was doing there is I was knocking the bees off of the roof off of the internal roof because we could have the queen. So keep the queen in here. Buzzy beast. All lovely and calm. We'll give them a little puff with them smoke just to send them downstairs. Again, just tapping the bees off just to make sure we ain't lost any, any queens there. The bees glue up. Glue this stuff, you can see that sticky propolis. I like to just break these all first to get them loosed. And then as I work through, it'd be easier than I have to keep breaking each one singularly. Not too sticky and stuck together at the moment. Give it a couple more weeks. This frame we can see pollen, a little bit of sealed honey, and we've got these queen cups. Really I should be looking for eggs first to make sure there's eggs, because they can use that cup to make it a new, new queen cell. But I'm pretty sure we got eggs by the amount of pollen being brought in. Now we do have eggs in here. We've got two doe eggs, three day old eggs, and big fat larvae's there. So we're good for taking away that queen cup. Here we got another two of them little queen cup things. If we don't remove these, the bees will make a full on queen cell and make a new queen and they'll bugger off with half of our colony. All looking good. Let's try for a different angle, shall we?
Let's try for a different camera angle. This frame's a little cleaner, so we can see the eggs any better. So that's a two, three day old egg there. Three days I'd say. Three day old cells, three day old larvies. There's more of these little play club things. That's what we don't want. We don't want these getting any bigger. Them taking our eggs and our queens away. Now this is a really nice frame. You can see up here where the bees have started to uncap and eat their honey because they think the, the hive's burning. And they might have to take the honey stores to a new location. So you can see all the little holes there where they've been uh, eating the honey from where I've just smoked them. This is a great frame. All of these around the outside here these are sealed, sealed larvae, ready to hatch in the next few days. In the middle here we can see one day old eggs. They literally are just an egg, not a larvae. Then on the outside here, Got a couple of three day old eggs, three day old larvae. Got to shake the bees off. If you don't shake them off, you can end up missing things like. That little play cup thing, that there. We don't want to be missing any of those. Big fat drone larvae here, these are the males. Another cup.
lovely new frame they've drawn, and drawn out there. Look at all that lovely honey. This is just their stores here. Smells delicious. Can't wait for the first honey extraction. Absolutely covered. Actually, I'm not quite sure how much I can wait for that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Mm. Delicious. I'm washing my suit after this anyway, so I'm quite not worried about a bit of honey on there. It's not being wasted. The bees are still going to eat that. Beautiful. Last frame. <laughs> Another nice frame. Lots of nice uh, honey stores on there. No more nasty queen cups, queen cells. Now I can uh, I can do up the, the hive, put them all away. Just gonna give them a little smoke. Just give them a smoke here just to stop, just to get them out of these runners. That's it, all locked up for another week. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll be back to more f fossils and bottles soon. But I thought I'd just show you something else that I like to get up to. So uh, please like and subscribe and uh, click that notification bell so you don't miss more up and coming tips, tricks and adventures. Thanks for watching.